Hi there, I'm gonna give you a minute to just subscribe and doing a get ready with me video, makeup edition for the Ottawa Black Film Festival. We were invited to the red carpet event, so should be fun. Hi, my name is Sandy Esprit, I'm a content creator. I'm like my own makeup artist. I learned everything off of YouTube University. So I'm going to do a makeup routine and this is for a red carpet event for the Ottawa Black Film Festival. Um, starting off, of course, with Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector. It has a hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and mushroom extract. I'm almost out of it. I did my hair. I straightened and flat ironed it. It was nice and sleek. Now it's nice and poofy. Never been to the Ottawa Black Film Festival before, so I'm interested to see who's going to be there. Now, I've already done a video a tutorial for my hair. Link is in the caption below, so check it out there. Uh, I got some breakouts that I was not expecting to see, so I'm not really pleased about that. So for tonight, for my foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. What is it? The Estee Lauder... Stay in place double wear foundation. 4M3 is my shade or maple sugar. Should have gotten the pump. Dot my whole face and build as necessary. I find that it's like really lightweight foundation. Great for oily skin or acne prone skin. My buffing brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple that in. Really trying to get that full coverage. Stay in place foundation <laughs> coverage. Oh, I need it moving around. And I'm super excited because I get to test out the viral light square thing that everybody's like. So I get this, I get to use this tonight. I'm super hyped. Like an event like this is exactly what I wanted to use it for. I can take pictures, have proper lighting attached to my phone. Because those little small like circle ring lights were not doing it for me. I think I'm going to add a little more, a little more foundation, a little more coverage. Just love the way it covers my skin. Like it doesn't look cakey. Yee, okay, we don't want that. We don't want that in the eye. And because this is like a red carpet event, I really want to go off of the glow. Really just want to like give my face a glow. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Shade 40 Concealer. Mini concealer. I'm gonna set up my concealer brush. I'm super excited. Never been on a red carpet for a film festival before. Very, very happy and proud to be pr uh, promoting. And I'm a full supporter and believer in the arts. And I believe that like especially amongst black film creators such a such a need for our stories to be told and for it to be told accurately before i move i'm going to go ahead and set with the charlotte tilbury this is the flawless airbrush setting powder i don't i i'm like well, a huge believer that nothing moves without the face being set and then i'm going to add my bronzer the lys bronze cream stick so the shade is courage i love how creamy it is love how I can easily blend that and also use it as a like to contour my face. I feel like right now my face is getting very old Hollywood glam and nothing's happened yet. Using my angle contour brush, I'm going to go ahead and like I really want to create some kind of a definition, add the warmth back to my face. I think that's one of my favorite things about the double wear foundation is that it, it just stays on my face and it looks like my face. It, I could tell people I woke up like this and they would probably believe me. Well, okay, maybe they won't believe me, but still. Now for the highlighter, I'm going to be using a few products. This is the Luminizer from Burt's Bees, shade Golden Hour. I'm going to apply some right here and right there to start with. And I really love how this is just a very light glow. This is, I'm using it kind of like as a base. The Beauty Light Wands from Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight and Pinkasm. Two right here, right where that bone is, right? Using my sponge, I'm going to go ahead and circle. I really want to illuminate my cheeks. See how? Just a little bit. But I wanted that gold undertone. Then I'm going to use my uh, Pinkasm because I find it's an amazing blush. Like, it's a great addition to blush. She's just messy sometimes. So I'm just gonna add that. Just give me a little bit, give me a little bit. There we go. Right there, right? Just two beauty sponge here. I'm gonna go ahead and just add that in there. And I really want that flush of pink. Give me the glass, give me that glass pink. Is it hot? I don't know why it's so hot in here. So just to give that flush of pink. And now that that's done, I'm going to add my blush. So I'm going to use the LYS. This is the Higher Standard Satin Cream Matte Cream Blush, right? And just going to take a bit of that. And when I apply the blush, you can see how it really just adds 
to my cheeks just it just enhances what's already there and i feel like really just adding the pink gasm underneath the blush really helps to just take the blush to the next level right yeah done? no i'm almost done though so i'm going to use my jackie aina anesthesia Beverly hills and i'm just going to use like one maybe two i'm going to use credit as an all over lid just a very pretty plum color. That's really most of the dramas right there, right? And because I have hooded eyes, I have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to bring the color up to the crease. Right now, she's a little messy. I'm gonna take Beach Bum off of the Mented to flesh out the back. Right off the top here. I'm gonna take a bit of Beach Bum and just add it um, underneath my eyes. For my brows, I'm using Mented Everyday Eye Palette. I think everyone needs to have an eyebrow eyeshadow color brows are now done how easy and simple is that debating if i need more glow but i don't think i do um i was gonna add some lashes but i don't think i have the time for that i'm gonna add limitless eyelashes um limitless lash mascara quickly becoming one of my favorites and this is a without mascara mascara no mascara there's it's night and day so that's pretty much the face it's I feel like it's like missing something, but I'm not sure what. I forgot to set my face. I forgot to set my face before putting on the mascara. All right, so we just gonna have to chance it using the Airbrush Flawless Filter. Really annoyed with myself on this one. I hate when that happens. This color here, there's this silver color here. I'm gonna add a bit of it right here, right in the middle there. And remember, I have like, I think I like it. Right in the middle there. I think that's what I was missing. It's not a lot, but it adds it adds a little something that I like. I really like it. Now I'm going to move on and do my lips. And I'm going to go nude. Cold Brew from the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. We're going to overline at the top here. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. Love the way this lipstick smells. Oh my gosh. And that's it. This is what we're doing. Got it done in roughly like 20 minutes. I do not suggest anyone doing that. I think makeup should not be rushed, but in this case, we had to rush it. Okay, well, I tried with the hair. The hair did its own thing as per usual. Okay, so the outfit is not giving what I thought it would, but we're gonna fix it either way. This is the final product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.